हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल कैन हियर मी हाय Hi everyone hello yeah i'm so sorry we connected really late but yeah we are we were having some issue with our connection oh uh, yeah <laughs> i don't know we'll we'll check this out like what's happening because yeah most of the time we're facing this issue right so yes we'll definitely check like what is happening so hi everyone welcome yeah, let me just check this out I hope you all are connected. I can see all of your messages in the chat. Hi. Hello everyone. Can you all hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up? So, yes. Hi. Good to see you all. So yes everyone can you all hear me Okay so let's get started and yeah so today you might have seen a little bit different setup so oh okay i'm sorry i know the camera got shaked okay <laughs> i hope you can see me clearly uh, uh so yeah let's get started without wasting more time it's been we are almost late for 15 minutes i guess yeah So yes today we are going to uh, paint and draw the tulip flowers okay and let's start with it let me tell you what you're going to need and what I'm going to use okay so I'm going to use this canvas okay I have this canvas and uh, the paints which I will be using is like I'm going to do the same steps like we did for the crocus flower we are going to draw it at first and then we are going to paint it okay So I for drawing I have my pencils ready here. Okay, I have my pencils ready for drawing. Now for painting what colors I can use. So for painting I'm going to use like for the background I'm going to use purple and black. Okay, you can use a little bit of white if you want. I'm going to put these colors on my palette. So we are going to start by drawing and then we are going to start by doing the background and then the flower okay so if you want to skip the background you can you can just do the flower that's also fine so these are the two colors which i will be using for background okay then for the flower i'm going to use pink color that is like magenta color i have and if you have light pink you can use that or i'm going to use white as well So here I have white color. We have I have white color for the background. Now for the leaves, I'm going to use green, green and a little bit of yellow. These are the two colors which I'll use for background. But I'm going to uh, for the leaves. I'm going to do that later. Okay. So I hope you all are ready. And let's get draw. Let's start with our drawing. And yeah, thank you everyone. I can't see everyone's text in the. like everyone's comments so yes thank you for waiting and welcome so yes let's get started then so i'm going to just draw quickly how to make the tulip and yeah if you want to skip the background you can you can just draw the flower okay so for drawing the tulip what i'm going to do is i'm going to first start with an egg shape Okay so how many you want to draw just think like first where you want to draw your tulips how you want it and then you can start with drawing okay so i'm going to start like i'm going to draw the same position one year another year and year you can use any colors as well i didn't mention that but you can use any colors so here i'm drawing an egg shape 
so make sure you draw it light don't draw it dark so first tulip will come here the second one is going to come this side so if you observe there are two varieties of tulip flower like see one and two like different shape so i'm going to show you all first these two and then the third one you can make the way you want yes you can make blue color flowers yes of course it will look good so if you're making blue color flower i will say use light blue then dark blue and white okay or just blue and white is also fine if you don't have dark and light colors why because if you use different colors then uh, the drawing will look more nice or uh, you will see different colors in it okay so that's why I try to use different uh, like at least two to three shades for a flower okay so I have three tulip flowers here or three egg shapes okay so first draw the egg shapes as many flowers you want that many egg shapes you can draw make sure they are like in a little bit different directions or there is some variety in your drawing okay i'm going to just shift this camera a little bit here okay so after drawing these uh, egg shapes i'm going to use my color pencil just that you can see it more clearly okay so i'm going to start with this one here so what is what you have to do is you have to draw a curve from here coming down like this okay oh okay so yeah i'm going to draw it a little bit dark so you can see it more clearly i'm going to use my color pencil a little bit darkly I'm sorry Prasad, uh, my camera is not focused, you cannot see it. Yeah, I don't like, sorry for this camera issue. Yeah, today as I told you, we had a technical issue like my camera, the original one which we used, that wasn't working. So I had to use a second option for that. Okay, so yeah everyone, is it blurred for others as well? I'm going to draw it dark so I guess you can see it clearly then it will be less blurred. Okay, let me know how it's visible still. I am trying to make it dark if it works. I'm going to draw it dark but yeah, make sure you don't draw dark. Okay, so here is my first uh, first petal like I just made a curve going out and coming in this is more important than this is going to be curvy okay so it's going to go uh, it's going to go out and then in and then on the other side it's going out again and coming in like this and here I have another curve okay so i have a curve from here like this then another curve here and then just a circle curve on the top side okay so now the for the second one for this one what i'm going to do i'm just going to use another color pencil because if i use a uh, purple here then there are chances that i'll get purple in my painting so here i'm going to first draw a curve you can use your normal pencil as well, okay? So see, making it like an S shape. It is kind of an S shape. S shape and then a curve on the top side. Coming down. You can make it in the center. I went a little bit up towards the right. But yeah, you can make it in the center. yeah i can see lots of people in my like have joined so hi everyone it's there is sajiri there is uh yeah sajiri hi then there's prasad hi hi seema and yeah hi out of office travel oh i watch your videos those are really great 
it's all about travel <laughs> hi bala sahib hi arun hi nikhil yeah nikhil sorry we started late and, and yeah thank you for joining hi madhuri hi kavita <laughs> wow i can see you all were connected hi avinash hi arun so it's swara right <laughs> hi sunil hi yes hi everyone <laughs> So after drawing this shape here, I'm going to make it dark. You keep it light, okay? Don't draw it dark. So another one from here going out, coming in. It should be curved like this. And here again. Making it curve. Okay, so see, this is same like this one. I just changed it in the center. Here I had a half curve. Here I made like this full shape. Okay, now the last one, I'm going to again just use this another pencil because this is more dark than this, I think. So the same step I'm doing. I like this flower. If you like this one, then you can draw it like this. Anything up to you. So for this one, I'm going to make it a curve here. Coming in, curvy, and connecting to this side. Then another curve here, coming down, same step I'm following, and a curve here. Okay, so this is how we draw a tulip flower. So there are more varieties of flowers. These are like the basic or the three ones which I like. Now, if you want to draw any different shape for your tulip flower, you can. If you want to make it like a, a small one, a big one, you can. Up to you. Okay, so now after this, I'm going to just draw a few stripes here for the leaf. So see, I'm using acrylic paint, okay? So it means if I paint on purple with this green color, my purple color won't, like, it won't get mixed with my green, okay? It's going to not blend. It's like my acrylic is going to dry and if I apply any color on it, then it's going to be the new color. You won't see the old color. Oh, okay, Swara. So, I guess, well, like, uh, it's because of my camera. And I guess if we start with painting, like, I hope it will work. It will get a little bit more clear. It, it will be more visible, I guess. I'm sorry for the camera issue today. I'm going to try to hold it a little bit up. Okay, in middle so you can see it more properly. Yeah, I'm just going to hold it for some time in the middle. Like, I'm going to hold it up. If it's too blur, like, if you cannot understand it, anything, just let me know. So, that's how I did the flowers. Let me know how is it going. And, yeah, I will try to redo this video again with something a different tulip flower maybe okay so yeah yes so now we can start with painting or we can start with drawing the leaves so i was saying that uh, make sure your background if you're using a normal paint it doesn't go on your leaves okay so for drawing the leaves you just need to add some lines coming down so from here it's going to be big. See, it's coming curvy. Here, curvy coming down. Like this, as it comes down, it's going to get a little bit thin. Then another one here. So you can make as many you want, okay? So these are a little bit similar to the crocus flower we did. Okay. Hi Swara, how is it? Is it too blur? Can you see it a little bit like? So I'm going to hold this up how I did the stem. There 
it is it should be small as it comes down okay we don't want it to be very big we want it to be a little bit small Okay, I'm going to put this down. Then another one here. As many you want, you can add. going to make my drawing a little bit dark so it's more clear for you to see like this you can add as many you want okay so I'm going to hold this up again if you want to pause your video whenever I'm holding it up you can pause it if you want to take photo you can So I'm going to hold this up and show you how it looks so if you want to pause your video and you want to draw the leaves same like mine you can so these are the same leaves which we did for the crocus flower okay Try to move it. Yeah. Hi, Anika. Thank you. So, yeah, everyone. So, let's move ahead with painting the background. So for the background, make sure that you don't go inside the flowers. If you want to skip the background, you can. So for background, I'm going to use purple, black and a little bit of white. Okay, so I'm going to use this brush here, the flat brush. If you are using colors, you can even like you can try with that as well. So I'm going to start with my purple okay so a little bit purple here and there like this be very careful we don't want to go inside the leaves and all and you're just going to create xx shape see like this and we have used this technique before if you were there for my old classes okay so i'm going to take a little bit water and then again x so we want to create like a little bit rough texture so it's okay if it doesn't blend but yeah just try to use your brush softly thank you prasad so here i'm see i'm outlining my flower so that i don't go inside it i'm going to take a little bit more paint here you know like i'm using acrylic so in my video i just painted uh, a little bit more freely because in acrylic as i told if you paint over any paint like paint over paint then the colors they won't blend immediately if the background is dried so here i'm doing the background creating small small x shape okay here be really careful we don't want to go inside it's okay if you go a little bit in then let the background dry and then you can uh do the leaves again so don't worry too much just keep on coloring here like this so it's going to be a little bit light purple in the center then purple and then now then it's going to be black 
So make the purple in a big amount, like a big piece. Thank you, Snail. Your so let it be a little bit like just small small x or big big x shape so it will be oh it will you'll get the texture okay yes prasad i will explain you how to make the grass shape so see what you need to focus on yeah whenever it comes to the top side it's going to be thin okay at the bottom it's going to be fat and you're going to move your hand making it curve okay so if i start from here it's going up it's a curve then it's coming down making leaving big gap between two lines okay so let it go up let it come down in the same direction just make sure you make it thin pointy on one side and fat at the bottom and you have to just like replace you have to draw leaf on leaf leaf on leaf or leaf close to leaf so it will kind of little bit replace or overlap okay let me know if this helps you out and yeah guys i know the camera is a little bit blur still so we'll try doing this again with a little bit change so i will teach you how to draw a tulip and how to paint it again so here i'm doing see i'm just using my brush straight so that way i can create uh, the outline to it and I'm not focusing on making the background like very smooth. I'm trying to add a little bit texture to it, like some lines to it. Okay, then I'm going to, then yeah, I'm going to continue. So here, so go ahead and just go ahead and fill, fill this gap wherever you think you don't want the leaf. Okay, so at the bottom you can keep everything green. So yes, a few of the spots you fill it, it's okay. You can fill them and then like fill the leaves and then you can color it, paint it again on top. Yeah. And yeah, if you're like look behind than me, you can pause the video, okay? Pause the video, let it go in your speed. Yeah. Yes, you're welcome, Prasad. So yeah, everyone, how's it going for you? Any questions? Let me know. Here, I'm just going to keep coloring, keep painting the background. see i'm taking help of my fingers i'm holding my canvas so take help of your fingers wherever it is dry hold it gently don't press it too hard and here. okay now in the center i'm going to use white so i'm taking white to my same brush i'm not cleaning the brush i'm going to hold here and now i'm just trying to blend it a little bit See, I'm going slightly inside the leaf, so don't worry if it is a little bit in. You can paint over it, okay? So you're just moving my brush softly, trying to blend it a little bit. You can use a little bit water if you if your paint is very hard just moving my brush i don't have any paint on my brush okay okay so yeah my canvas is shaking a lot <laughs> it's like creating a music so i'm gonna hold this down here 
Okay, so that much I did for my purple. I'm going to use a little bit more purple here for a few white spots. See, even if I'm going to do black in the end, but still I'm doing a little bit of purple. Why? Because uh, black is a dark color, right? And we don't want a, a black everywhere. We want very less black. So I'm going to do purple a little bit and then I'm going to continue with Oh, uh, I'm going to continue with black. So here I'm just adding few more purple shades to the corners, around the leaves, around the flower. Okay, so I have purple here. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of black. Wow, Sajuri. So Sajuri also has an art, uh, art like his, her channel for arts and crafts, right? So yeah, it's amazing. You can check out those as well. It's for paper craft, I guess, the origami craft. <laughs> so here I'm just adding some shades like this. Okay, so this is like dark. Oh, now see if this is very dark black so i'm going to take a little bit water you're just tapping taking very little, little water and i'm going to move my brush slowly here so it will kind of blend so yes friends remember to take very little water okay don't take a lot of water otherwise oh uh, yeah you will get it black like your painting will become black so make sure you have very little uh, very little black paint as well as very little water we don't want the painting to be watery we just want it to look a little bit dark so take very little black you can also take a uh, dark purple if you have instead of black you can also try taking blue so here taking a little bit water a little bit paint and i'm going to paint this see i'm just doing x shape okay creating small small x but i'm not moving my brush very hard very gently okay so this is going to be a little bit lighter than this one because we have like a green so that's why i'm going to just keep painting the corners then i'm going to come inside So here, I know it's kind of a task like to finish the painting in one hour, but yeah, if you want, take a like pause the video, take your time, okay? Take your time. So here, I'm just painting. Okay. okay now i'm going to take a little bit purple and i'm going to try to blend these colors let me know everyone how's it going for you are you ready with the background are you not ready you need a little bit more time and any questions let me know how's it going and what you're using you can tell me whether you're using paint or color pencils or crayons if you're using paint then is it poster paint or acrylic anyone trying to do acrylic like mine so it's okay like whatever colors you used that's up to you right or up to your interest i can say okay i'm just going to clean my brush okay 
guess oh, I must my tissue paper. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to get my tissue paper from there. Okay, so everyone just keep coloring. If you have questions, let me know. Thank you, Jyoti. I'm going to wait for a, a second and I'm going to grab my tissue paper and I'll be back. It just fell down. Yeah, I got it. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, it just fell down there. So, yeah, there it is. So, now... Now I'm going to use a little bit white on this side and just going to try to blend this slightly. So see I'm using a clean water. I have another water here which I'm using for, uh, for lighter shades. Okay, I have two jars of water, one clean and one dry. Sorry, not dry one, like a bigger one for, like, for, my, for cleaning the brushes and one to just use a clean brush for, for a clean paint. Okay, so yes. Oh wow, Prasad, you're using watercolors. Nice, good. Okay, so now let's start with the flower. Uh, let me know if you're done. If you're not, just pause the video. So for the flowers, I'm going to use this brush. Okay, so this brush for flowers. And first, what we are going to do is we are going to do the background, the base color. Like we are going to mix the colors. I have magenta and white I'm going to mix them and I'm going to like I'm going to take a little bit white to my magenta making it light pink so in case you have light pink go ahead and use that directly see I'm taking a little bit more white and here I'm just creating a light pink shade by mixing it okay now I got light pink, I got I have a uh, purple, oh, sorry, what's happening? Okay, so I have light pink, I have dark pink, that's magenta and I have white. I'm going to just hold this up so you can see it clearly. Okay, so you're taking white and just mixing it. Okay, so I have these three colors ready. First, we are just going to paint it by giving a little bit base color to uh, drawing okay so you can use another brush or use the same brush make sure you don't have a lot of pink to it so I'm going to start with this one here I'm going to just give a base color like this outlining it be really careful I'm using a round brush so see like this be very careful you're going to or just draw the shape I'm using a round brush okay so yeah Prasad so I have like a, a bowl of water which which I'm going to clean my brush and another year a small jar with which i'm going like sorry for this one i'm going to take water if i need to any of this so for lighter shades you're going to take a clean water and for darker shades just to clean your brush you're going to take a normal water okay hi om welcome i'm good om how are you So here I'm going to just uh, yeah just paint the background. Okay. So yes, Prasad, I hope it, it's clear. Okay, about the jars, two water containers. So here. Okay. So I made this base color. I'm going to let it set or let it dry for some time. I'm going to do the other one. So here being very careful 
I'm moving my hand, okay? I'm moving my hand in that flow so I get those curved lines. Okay, yes, Prasad. Like this. And then here. like this hi Dinesh thank you and the last one so go one by one so you know as you're doing this base color the other paint they will dry a little bit and see this is really important how you make this or how you apply this base color okay like this See now I need a little bit water because my paint is dry so I'm going to take this clean water. Okay, very little, going to mix it. So in case you think you need water then you're going to take a clean one. okay yes we'll try to do galaxy painting so for galaxy painting you have to like practice little bit so yeah we will try to do it we'll like uh, i won't immediately teach you a hard version we can do something easy version of galaxy like painting the sky and all okay so here i got the background is ready okay so now i'm gonna clean my brush so i'm gonna use that dirty water okay and here i'm cleaning it and looks like i like my tissue paper it got fell like okay here it is i thought did i drop my tissue paper again <laughs> so i'm cleaning my brush i have a little bit pink to it which is okay now after this i'm going to take a little bit of white so very little white see don't take a lot of white and move your brush very softly you have to create very soft lines with your brush okay remember don't just press it too hard so i'm taking paint to the tip okay to, to, to the tip i'm not dipping my whole brush into the paint just the tip and then I'm going to start from here, slowly going up and then lifting my hand. Okay, again, taking thick paint, see, creating these strokes, lifting my hand. Here, just dragging it up, up, up. Okay, a little bit more. Dragging it up. It's kind of a little bit blending. Okay. So this way I did the first layer to it. So let it dry and then you can do it again. So let this dry, okay? Now... I'm going to do the second one, second petal here from the corner and I'm just dragging it out. See, I'm just dragging, lifting my hand. So it's kind of a little bit blending. Here slightly. You have to do one more dark coat to it, so don't worry, just keep on doing. Move your brush very softly. 
don't press it trust me don't press it do it as much as soft you can your little bit on the top side okay so there it is i'm going to hold it up so you can see it more clearly thank you prasad so i hope you can see this okay now i'm going to do the same step for the other ones and then we also have to add a little bit like a, a pink color dark pink color here so we'll do that again later so starting with the second one so here i'm going to start so it depends like how much dark you want or how much light you want accordingly you're going to use white okay like this Mm -hmm. now on this side as well so I'm really moving my brush very softly it all depends on how you move your brush and how you like paint it lift your hand after each strokes lift your hand I'm drawing some strokes of flicks okay a little bit black white here Continuing with the last one here, so I'm going to redraw this middle shape as it's not visible. If it's not visible for you as well, then you can use your pencil to draw it, okay? Or you can directly, if you're confident, then you can directly do it with your uh, brush. So let me know everyone, how is it going? If you have any questions or anything. yes so here i'm see adding few strokes same flick same steps i'm just doing it adding strokes as it goes up Then here again. Okay, so keep doing like this. I added few strokes to it, white color. Now again, I'm going to clean my brush. So I'm cleaning my brush. Oh, I'm not, this sound is really nice, isn't it? Okay, and then wiping it to the tissue paper. And now it's time to add dark color strokes. So if you have any question, how is it going for you? Let me know. You can give me a thumbs up as well in the comment like if you're not able to type you can just give me a thumbs up <laughs> or any smile any emoji it's okay so now i'm taking dark pink color and i'm going to take a little bit water so i'm taking the clean water okay here and now i'm going to start adding few dark strokes so see starting from here like this the same thing but from up coming down this time it's coming down from it's coming from up to down okay like this it should come from up to down we and yeah it shouldn't go from uh, these white strokes let it come from up 
to down so repeating with another strokes here I'm dragging it down it's okay if it blends a little bit try to go like try to do it in a little bit natural form okay Prasad thank you yeah I know few of them are not able to type in the chat it's okay it's fine like you're not able to comment it's fine if you're busy painting then yeah keep painting I'm taking a little white and just going to drag it up at few spots here random let it be random okay now i'm going to take some pop um, pink as well again here so here it's going to be like shadow so it's going to be dark on this side just blending here slightly okay so i'm going to continue with the second leaf oh sorry <laughs> second flower not leaf and here is my painting it looks like this so far the first flower <laughs> okay now the shape has changed a little bit but yeah i'm gonna adjust it while i do the leaf okay so now the second one again so starting from up dark coming down I need to add some white strokes here because I have less white so try to do it randomly just move your pencil or oh, sorry your brush very softly now the other one so up to you how you want to paint it if you want to paint it dark on the corners you can light anywhere okay so make these strokes according to your painting just make sure you don't press your brush too hard do it very softly okay like don't apply a lot of pressure on your mm -hmm. brush bring these strokes let it be a little bit more curvy softer okay the second one is also ready now i'm going to start with the last one but yeah before that just adding few lines here okay the last one Oh, nice Prasad good so Prasad doesn't has pink so he's making pink color from red purple and blue nice good job so here I'm just adding few strokes and yes others how's it going for you Swara then Sajuri and we have uh, more friends like more participants so everyone how's it going for you let me know
and yeah even swaranj even you there so let me know how's it going for you as well so here i'm adding some dark purple shade dark pink shades strokes in the middle okay and now I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to add a few white strokes to this. But I'm going to let it a little bit dry. So, yes everyone, we are almost done with the flower. We are just left with the stem. So, more few minutes and then it's ready. <laughs> so, I'm going to add a few dark strokes. So, for that I'm going to take, oh, I'm going to use the same brush, a thin, you can use a thin brush. I'm going to use the tip for this like for example this is dark and dark right so it's not visible so I'm going to add a dark patch here so wherever like it's not visible I'm just going to add and just dragging that paint down so it will blend with the base color then here a little bit so just trying to drag it out so it will blend it's kind of I'm doing outlining, but yeah, not exactly I can say outlining, but sort of outlining. Okay, here. Then adding a few strokes here. A dark one here so make sure wherever you want to differentiate two petals right so there you're going to add some dark and light stroke so both of the petals they will be differentiated if you have same color between them then it won't like see now this is light for this petal I'm adding a dark shade for the background for the back one here as well I'm adding dark shade so it will be differentiated I'm just going to add few dark and few light strokes. Here I'm adding a dark patch. Okay. Then here I already have dark. I'm just going to add white to the other side. I'm cleaning my brush. And now I'm going to take white very little i'm taking very little paint for this last step okay then here i'm going to add white Just few spots, white and dark. Okay. Here I'm going to try to blend it a little bit. Now this one, here I need a lot of white strokes, okay. So taking a little bit thick paint because my paint, the lower paint, the base paint is wet. So it's kind of blending, creating a purple shade, pink shade. Then the last one here. Yes, almost done with this. okay so there it is ready thank you sajiri
okay so now next what we are going to do the leaves so for that i'm going to take shades of green color okay if you have dark and light you can take dark light or just dark is fine you can take a little bit of or uh, yellow to it so i'm taking this uh light pink yeah it's not coming out so i'm just going to yeah okay so there it is light you can take yellow if you want so if you don't have light green very little yellow you're going to need i'm taking dark So these are the three shades which I'll use for leaf. So same like the flower, we use three colors, right? Here, so same for the leaf, we are going to use three shades. I'm using the same brush. I'm going to start with light green. Here. See, I'm kind of like creating the shape, like outlining. you're tapping tapping now taking dark green so i'm going to do random spots okay see taking light and dark coming down okay so this way i'm just going to add the shades light and dark to it and i'm going to drag it down Oh, thank you. Thank you, Prasad. Yes, we will connect again next week. And yeah, if you're not done, even others, if you're not done, take your time. You can show me it later. You can post it later on Instagram or you can send me the picture of it. So yeah, so it's okay if it's not completed this time. Take, uh, take your time. You can complete it tomorrow up to you so here and yeah but make sure you complete the painting okay don't leave it incomplete i'm just adding random green dark green and light green strokes see some going on purple as well so if you're getting the purple shade like it's visible then i will say apply a thick paint Add a thick paint to your painting. In here, taking random dark and light shades. yeah and great that we didn't disconnect in the middle yeah last time we disconnected in middle because of some issue yeah it was the same camera issue i guess don't know so keep doing everyone let me know how is it going so you know while painting it's really important that how you use your brush so if you once get used to using the brush then it's kind of like very easy so if you want you and if it like if you want you can add black a little bit to your green if you don't have dark green shade or even you can add a little bit of blue so right now i'm just coloring the leaves and then i'm going to uh, 
like I'm giving a base layer to it and then I will add more light and dark green shades and as well as yellow. So here I have just painted the base for these leaves. Yeah, we are almost done. <laughs> few more steps let it dry let it set for some time and then you can do oh uh, then you can do the yeah then you can do the second layer to it thank you avinash thank you what about others how is it going and yeah do you want to tell something about my painting how it's looking how did today's session go so we are almost done a few more steps to do like just the background and uh, and yeah oh uh, you can add more details to the background like if you want you can add some dots over here with white paint or pink color paint so think about what you would like to do in the background so now I'm going to add a little bit yellow and dark green. I'm going to mix a little bit black to my green. So it becomes slightly dark. And then at few spots I'm going to add these this dark green shade. Like for example here to show a little bit shadow kind of. Then here. Yes, your paint should dry, then it will look more nice. Let it dry and then do this step, okay, the second layer. Now I'm doing it on the first layer. So I have to like, I'm not getting very nice shades. It's not like blending very properly. So let it dry a little bit. And yeah, Prasad, we can learn how to draw face as well. We can do that session. Thank you, Baha Sahib. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Meghna. So now I'm taking yellow. And here I'm just adding few shades. Few strokes coming down. See, so wherever you want to show the front leaf, you can add yellow. Wherever you want to show the back leaf, like the back most, there you can add dark green so very few strokes you can make it a little bit random as well your if you have white on your canvas like white of your paper your canvas go ahead and make sure you fill those white spots with your paint so yeah everyone we are about to end the session so a few more minutes to go i'm almost done with the painting so if you have any questions let me know we will wait mostly a minute or two and then it's done so any questions any suggestions any feedback let me know your whatever you want in the front you're going to make that light here I want this one in the front. Okay, like this, just adding few random spots of dark and light color. Yes, I hope you all enjoyed this session. Yeah, we had some issue. I apologize for that. And yeah, we'll fix that and see what was the exact problem. Okay, so yes, this is our painting ready. So this was the last step. Oh, okay. This was the last step we did. 
and it's ready so let me know how it go, go how it went for you if you are ready you can post the picture on my instagram channel like it's aura arts gallery and you can also send me a photo if you have my number okay so i hope you all enjoyed this session if you have questions let me know so how we make flower shape properly is that you have to keep practicing it okay so we started by making like an egg shape and then we did this curve in the center then another curve here so see it's going slightly out and coming in and then yeah and then on the top you have to draw a curve so you have to keep practicing and it will improve and you can just go back again and see the video how we made the shape as well as on my demo video that is a small video of three minutes i guess three or something you can watch that there also i have explained it properly like how to make the flower shape properly okay yes thank you Meghna. yes thank you prasad and thank you sajiri and everyone yes thank you so much for joining me today for this session so we'll see you all again next week if you have any uh, any questions you can tell keep commenting here or you can also uh, message me on my instagram if you have any question or any concern about a painting or you want to learn any steps or any other painting okay so yes thank you everyone we'll see you all again next week take care bye bye